Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, I got a speculation video for you. So today guys, I want to talk about Phantom Blaster Dragon and what its potentially new skill is going to be. But before we get that, we have some news to cover. So let's get into the news, and then we'll go from there. Starting off with today's news, we have the one and only um, Little Sage Marin and her reprint, or his reprint. Really, I don't know if it's a he or she, but... <clears throat> you do you, little Sage Marin. But the unit skill, obviously, let's go over. It's a grade 1 with boost. Nothing's changed there. Has a 10k shield instead of 5. Still belongs to the Royal Paladin Clan. It looks to be a double rare in the set. And I give that due to its skill, which is actually a really good skill. So, auto rearguard once per turn. When, when one of your units is... When one of your rearguards is placed in the same column as this unit... You may pay the cost of Counterblast of 1, draw a card, and this unit gets 3k power, making it an 11k booster or attacker, and it's really good. So, what I'm seeing from Royal Paladin is they're going to be a draw-heavy deck, and this card is really good in that nature. So, yeah, that's a massive difference, in all honesty. Um, from prior Marins and skills, and I honestly do think this one's gonna be used in a lot of decks. Just cause she's gonna replenish your draw power. You're gonna sack a card from hand in Counterblast 1 to draw a card. Which isn't really all that bad. It could give you a unit you need, cause it doesn't specify what grade. But if you're looking for a unit that works off grade, then we move into the next card. That was released, and this is up to date news. Um, which is Knight of Roses Morgana. So she got her confirmed reprint. So if you don't know, she was in the first trial deck um, for Blaster Blades, along with a couple other cards. But she has come back and is a single rare in the set. And as you can see on screen, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, cost is Soul Blast 1. And when this unit this unit gets 3k for each, uh, each grade of your Vanguard, meaning if you have a grade... Grade 3, she's going to get 9k, so on and so forth, which makes her, again, a great booster or a great attacker. So you really don't have a lot to worry about unless you're trying to play grade 1s with the grade 0s. But her, she looks, her art's amazing, both the arts for both these cards. I love how this one feels more like a Vanguard art, whereas this one just feels more animated. I don't know, I, I'm really liking the new art style. But you guys aren't here to hear these cards. I just wanted to cover the news and let you guys know what was going on with them. You guys want to know about this guy. The one, the only, Phantom Blaster Dragon. So we're gonna take um new we're gonna take other cards within the Force clan. Um and s potentially apply and see how their skill how this card's skill will form. So guys, I believe this card will be in the trial deck, the Shadow Paladin trial deck, along with Blaster Dark. Um, so yeah, let's just take a look at other cards, or let's first cover the imaginary gif it would have, which I've already said. It would be Force. Um, clans are balanced in offense and defense. These markers represent the are represented by the color blue. Force markers act as power f power extenders. And are placed on vanguard or rearguard circles under the units. Under the unit, the units on the force markers get 10k during your turn only. However, you are able to put multiple force markers on the circle. And obviously, known units are Alfred Early, um, Crest Dragon, Dragonic Overlord, um, Knight of Arrogant, Star Driver, and Wavern. And, yeah, today we're here to talk about Alfred Early. So, this is an old card, and if you guys don't remember, Alfred Early was printed earlier on, which we'll cover its old skill as well, and um, talk about that with it. So, let's, let's talk about Alfred Early in its new form. So, cost. When this is placed, uh, when placed, cost is counterblast one, call up to one blaster blade from hand or soul to rear, and it gets plus 10k power until end of turn. If you call, draw a card. So this card is very similar to its predecessor. Um, it's 
And it, the art is very different from it. Give me a second. I'm having some technical difficulties with pulling up the other Alfred Early from Generation 1. I am sorry, guys. Here we are. My computer is being slow. Alrighty, let's put this in. So, Alfred Early. When this is placed on Vanguard, choose one card from name blaster blade from soul call to your guard so the art the card art not the card art the card skill is very similar in the manner that it was it calls blaster blade this one is an improved version where it calls blaster blade from soul so we can already see that skills are very similar with them and that's kind of important because this is a reboot series it's not a complete rework of the original stuff so I do think that blast phantom blaster um, what's it called phantom blaster dragon will have a similar skill but if that wasn't enough to um, win you over let's talk about dragonic overlord so dragonic overlord is another for imaginary gift force user and its skill is Soul Blast 1, this unit gets 10k on Van or Rear. And when this unit attack hits, pay the cost of a Counter Blast 1, discard 2 cards from hand, stand this unit, and it gets minus 1 drive. So you get a total of 3 drive checks in a turn with it. And that makes it really powerful, in all honesty. But, if, if that's not enough, we can look at the similarities from Generation 1. And there we go. So let's just take a look at what Generation 1 held for us. So Dragonic Overlord, besides its infinite amount of prints, as you can see, had a very similar skill. Um, it was an 11k base, which this is a 13k base. It lost 2k power, so that's sort of different from gaining 10. But it had a similar restanding skill where it counterblasts 3 until end of turn. This unit gets plus 5k and gets auto vang or rear. It's auto van rear when this unit attack hits um your opponent's rear guard stand this unit and lose twin drive and that's how it's printed there so this card was actually probably a little bit more diverse than this one but it essentially does the same thing this one was just able to be used on rear guard which was powerful because if you uh drove check two criticals you could get a repeating a re-attacking vanguard which or rear guard which could have been nice, but that doesn't matter. We're here to talk about him. So how is his still gonna change? Well, we already know he's gonna get the imaginary gift mark for Force, cause Shadow Paladin is in this clan, along with Spike Brothers and Dimension Police. But what would his skill be? Well, I think it would be just similar to this. It would probably be Counter Blast 1, choose probably two rear guards and retire them this unit gets 10k and a critical not too much um i think it would call maybe blaster dark from soul and that would just sort of change up the overall effect instead of giving a uh what's it called instead of getting one power it just gets a sacrificable rear guard instead of sacrificing three or it might draw a card but past those things i really don't see what its other skill will be um I do think that Blast, like I said, I do think this unit and Blaster Dark will both be in the new trial deck to come for Shadow Paladins. He will be a, obviously a 13k boost. I don't think a lot changed in the unit's archetypes, like human and human, yeah. Uh, Flame Dragon, Flame Dragon, yeah. So, I honestly don't see this changing at all. Um... I wish I could speculate on Phantom Blaster Overlord, but I really can't do any of that until I get a bit more clues onto what the what they're going to do for this, because I don't know if they're actually going to do this. Because these could be really powerful. Dragonic Overlord, the end reprint, and an actual Alfred reprint, King of Knights Alfred reprints, should be super powerful, and probably will require their predecessors in Soul or Persona Blasting. But I don't want to talk about them too much longer. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, last thing I do want to cover is the art I feel would be similar to this picture. Very animated-ish. Nice looking art. Um, 
But that's about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I have a couple last things to go over. I wanted to apologize to you guys about the past few days. I haven't uploaded at all the past couple days because I've been busy with work and I had a convention I had to go to as a vendor, so I had to sell some stuff, which I had a lot of fun. And if you guys are from that convention, please leave a comment down below saying, um, PA Con. Uh, you guys will know what that stands for if you were there. And I, I was happy to meet some of the people I, um, or I was happy to meet new people and share my channel with you. I was happy to see old friends that are subscribed to the channel that I haven't seen in a few months. So guys, that's about it. I guys hope you enjoyed the Vanguard news and the speculation of the, of, um, Dragonic, not Dragonic, wow. If I can think, I will get this out of the way. Phantom Blaster Dragon final or new form. I'm too tired for this. I'm sorry, guys. Until next time, I've been the Sorwolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.